Okay, students. Uh, we are going to be discussing in this uh, title some more divisibility rules. So we already discussed what is divisibility rule. In previous videos, we taught uh, divisibility rule by two, three, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So what is divisibility rule? Actually. Uh, divisibility rule help us without actual division we can say it, uh, it is divisible by another number or not means we can say without actual division the number can be divisible by another number or not we can say so that is called divisibility rule I told you then uh, we discussed all the divisibility of 2, 4 uh, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, all the numbers. Uh, now we are going to discuss some, some other uh, divisibility uh, rules. So first rule, uh, if a number is divisible by another number, then it is divisible by each of the factors of that number. What is meaning? Example. If you take the example number of 18, 18 is a uh, one number. If you find the factors of 18 factors, so 9 is the factor of 18. Okay, so if you take any number 18 I am taking 18 if you find the factor of 18 you know how to find the factor because we already discussed many exercise examples also 18 is a number if you want to find out the factor of 18 you can say 9 is a factor because 9 twos are 18 so in this place 9 is a factor and 2 also factor ok 9 is the factor of 18 if you can say can you say what is the factor of 9 factor of 9 3 3 3 is the 9 so in this place 3 is the factor of 9 9 is the factor of 18 now we want to listen carefully you can divide by 18 by 3 also because how many 3's are there? 6 3's are 18 see I take first number 18 ok I take 18 first I find the fa any factor I find only one factor 9 9 is the factor of 18 ok so in this case 9 is the factor of 18 again I find the factor of 3 I find 3 I found 3 so in this case 3 is the factor of 9 9 is the factor of 18 but can you can you say 3 it can be divisible by 18 or not yes 3 can be divisible by 18 also because I could find 9 is the first divisible first uh, factor after that I find the next factor of uh, 3 but you can divide the number 18 by 3 also that is a rule if a number is divisible by another number example 18 is the one number I am going to divide by another number 9 so what is the if a number number 18 is divisible by another number another number means 9 is the another number so 18 is the one number I am going to divide by another number 9 so the number another number then it's divisible it's divisible which is divisible the 18 is divisible by each of the factor of the number each of the factor means the factor of 9 what is the factor of 9 3 and 3 so the factor of the uh, 9 we can divide by 18 also I hope you understand first I take 18 
I find one factor 9. In this factor of 9, again I find the another factor. That factor also we can divide by the first number. That is same. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me take another example for uh, understanding this uh, divisibility rule. Let I am taking 24. 24 as a number. Now I want to find out the factor of 24. So if you are, I am asking you, what is the factor of 24? So firstly, what you will say? 8 to the, sorry. 8 3s are 24. 8 3s are 24. Okay. In this case, 24 is the multiple. We can say multiple. 8 and 3 both are factors. Okay. Now, again, I will say, uh, I will ask you, what is the factor of 8? 4 2s are 8. See, if you divide, if you divide, by 24, if you divide 24 by 8, example, 24, if you divide by 8, if you divide 24 by 4 also, see, first factor is 8, if you divide by 24, 8 4s are, sorry, 8 3s are 24, then, 6 4s are 24. So, the rule what says if a number is divisible by another number, 24 is a one number, I am going to divide by 8 is a another number. So, we can divide by, we can divide 24 by 8. So, 8 3 is a 24. So, it is divisible by, divisible by 8. So, Again, I find the factor of 8. 4 2s are 8. So, if you divide, divide 8 by 4, that also we can divide. <coughs> so, we can divide by 8 and 4 also. Okay. So, 8 is the factor of 24. 4 is the factor of 8. But we can divide by 24 also, 8 also. That is the says in this rule. Okay, the second uh, divisibility rule. If a number is divisible by two co-prime numbers, co-prime numbers already we discussed, again I will tell you, then it is divisible by their product also. So, in this sum, First, we want to know what is co-prime numbers. So, co-prime means which number uh, one as a common factor. That number we call as a co-prime numbers. Example, uh, I will take 4 and 5. 4 and 5. If you find the common factor of 4 and 5, so first we need to find the factors. So what is the factor of 4? 1, 4 is equal to 4. 2, 2's are 4. Okay. Then what is the factor of 5? 1, 5 is equal to 5. So if you collect and write all the factors as per the ascending order, so first we will write the factor of 4. Then 1, comma. 2 comma 4 then 1 comma 5 if you see the common factors of 4 and 5 only 1 is the common factor there is no other fact common factors see which number factors 1 as a common factor that number we called Co prime number. I already told you in this case 4 and 5. 4 and 5. I find the I found the factors of 4. 1, 2, 4. These all are the factors of 4. 
Then the next, I found the factors of five. One and five are the factors. If you find the common factor, only one is the common factor. Not others are common factors. So in this kind of numbers, we call the co uh, common sorry co prime numbers. So in this case, four and five are co prime numbers. So four and five is the co prime numbers. Why? Because only one is the one as a common factor. One as a common factor. Remaining all are not um, not match. So only one as a common factor. That's why this kind of numbers we call the co prime numbers. So what is the question? If a number is divisible by two co prime number, two co prime number means four and five. Four and five is the um, both are two co, co prime numbers. So then it is divisible by their product also means uh, four and five. Four five is a four five is a twenty. It means any number. Example, I will take eighty. Eighty is a number. Suppose the eighty it can be divisible by four and five also. Example. So I will let me try. So four, two four sorry four four two four sir eight then zero. So four twenty sir eighty means sir we can divide by four also and five also. How we can divide five? Fifteen, no, sixteen. Yes, sixteen five zero, sixteen five zero eighteen means. See, what I am telling. I take eighty. The eighty it can be divided divisible by five and four. Both we can divide. As per the rule, if any number. Any co-prime number, if you can divide by both number, number, that the product also you can divide. For example, I take eighty as a example number, no? So the eighty we can divide by four and by both number we can divide. As per the rule, we can divide by the product also. We can divide by that product also. What is the product of four and five? Four five is a twenty. So if you divide by eighty by twenty, what is it? Eight two sir? No no. Four two sir. Yeah four twenty sir. Eighty. So four times we can divide. The rule what says? If your number is divisible by two co-prime numbers, four and five. Are the co-prime numbers okay? Number then it is divisible by the product also means four and five are the co-prime numbers. How to um, we can say four and five are the co-prime numbers because in both uh, factors uh, common factors only one one as a common factors are four and five. So that's why four and five uh, four and five are the co-prime numbers. Okay, we know what is the co-prime number. Then uh, we want. I am taking one example. Eighty as a number. I can divide it by four also, and I can divide it by five also, and I can divide it by both product. If you multiply four and five, twenty, no. I can divide it by that product also. What I am coming to say, we can divide it by four also. We can divide it by five also. We can divide it by that product. That product. Which product? Four and five. Four five is a twenty. So I can divide by that product also. That is saying the rule. The rule saying the co two co prime number. Okay, if it is divisible by the two, 
if it is divisible by the two coprime numbers then also we can divide by the product also means the product of 4 and 5 20 so 20 i can divide by 80s so this kind of uh, numbers we call the coprime numbers okay let me tell you the rules uh, rule 2 how to um, explain so if a number is divisible by two coprime numbers divisible by two coprime numbers okay example 3 and 5 15 if you see if you find the common factors of 3 and 5 uh, let me tell you first 3 and 5 so first we want to know what is the co-prime number first we want to know what is the co-prime numbers so do you know 3 and 5 are co-prime numbers or not so how will you check how will you check 3 and 5 are co-prime numbers or not so let me tell you how to find the given two number are co-prime numbers or not so for checking first we need to find out the factors of 3 and 5 ok what is the factor of 3 1 3 is equal to 3 that much only only two factors what are the factors of uh, 3 1 and 3 ok what is the factor of 5 1 5 is equal to 5 that's it so 5 factors of 5 1 comma 5 if you if you find the common factors of these two factors common factor one as a common factor so if it is any number any two number uh, which number have only one as a common factor that two number we called co-prime number so now I hope you understand what is co-prime number the co-prime co number it means the common factor as only one that two numbers we called co-prime numbers so 3 and 5 both are common both are co-prime numbers 3 and 5 are the co-prime numbers ok we find 3 and 5 are the co-prime numbers we want to work out the divisibility rule this rule 2 means 3 and 5 are the co-prime numbers I already told you the co-prime numbers 3 and 5 we can divide by 60 how let me check 2 3s are 6 then 0 0 so 20 3s are 60 so first I check 3 divided by 60 so 20 times we can divide so 20 3s are 60 let me check 5 60. So the co prime number 3 and 5 both number we can uh, both number can be uh, divisible by 60. We can divide by 60. Means 3 20 times 5 12 times. Both numbers we can divide by 3. As per the rule we can divide by that product also. What is the product of 3 and 5? 3 and 5 is equal to 15. Let me check the product. 60, no? Example, our example number 60. So I am going to divide by their product. What is the product of 3 and 5? 3 and 5 are 15. So how many 60 are there? 4 50s are 60. 
this is the rule two. Means if you if you can divide and divide uh, two co-prime number, then their product also divisible. So I divided by the two uh, co-prime numbers, then I can divide it by their product also. Their product means three five are fifteen. Fifteen also it can be divisible by this number. So this is the rule two. Okay.